morning and welcome back to the Cyber Knife CK Cam. I'm Sasha and I've been joined by Michelle who's on our product marketing team. Good morning Michelle, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm good Sasha, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Are you enjoying the show so far? Yeah, it's been a lot of fun showing people our new Cyber Knife BSI system. We've had a lot of interest and it's been a great time. Great. Well, something that we were able to learn about yesterday was more about the Cyber Knife BSI system. And additionally, we were able to learn about how the CyberKnife fits into the continuum of cancer care and how it actually tracks tumors that move with respiration or breathing. Something else that I'm interested in is how does a doctor make this robot work? It seems really complicated to me, but I've been told it's relatively easy. Would you mind walking us through a treatment plan? Absolutely. I'd be glad to walk you through the treatment plan. And I think the first thing to really understand is what exactly is a treatment plan. If you think about it, the treatment plan itself is the recipe or it's the instructions to the system for how to deliver the treatment to the patient. So the instructions include things like where the robot moves in space and where, where it stops to deliver beams to the patient. And in order to build that recipe or to build those instructions takes three main ingredients. Um, the first main ingredient of our uh, treatment plan recipe is the uh, information about the CyberKnife system itself. And we learned that each, while each CyberKnife system that's out there in the world is pretty much the same, there are some subtle differences. And so physicists in the department where the, the CyberKnife um, where the CyberKnife is will take measurements of the system. They will measure the radiation out and measure the way that the robot moves around the room. And all those measurements are unique to each CyberKnife. That information then gets put into our treatment planning software and it becomes part of how the dose is calculated and how treatment is calculated for each patient. The second main ingredient is the doctor's prescription. And the prescription from the doctor includes information about how much radiation is going to be delivered to the patient and what area of the body is going to get that radiation. It also includes how many beams are going to be used to deliver and over what period of time or what fractionation schedule. Now sometimes you'll hear the word fractionation. What that really means is how many days it's going to take to deliver the treatment. And it could be anywhere from one day to five days to maybe even up to 40 days. And it's all based on the doctor's prescription. The third main ingredient that goes into a treatment plan is the patient. And because we can't actually put our patient into our software, what we do is we take pictures of the patient. And the pictures in this case are in the form of a CT scan. So almost every patient who gets CyberKnife treatment will actually go for a planning CT scan prior to coming in for the treatment planning. And so that CT scan is then um, imported into our software system, and we can then look at um, a, a virtual patient, and then the real patient can actually go home while the treatment planning process is occurring. And I think the best thing to do right now is to show you by example what we're talking about when we talk about seeing the patient and having the pictures in the planning system. So why don't you come on over here and I'll show you what we're talking about. And I'm going to point to you, what we're looking at here is pictures of a patient. In this case, we're looking at a prostate cancer patient. And I'm just to orient you on what we're looking at. If we look at this screen up here, um, this is the patient's backbone. This is their hips. And you can see here their legs. So what we're looking at is if the patient was facing us, face to face, um, this is the front of them. We're looking behind, and then this is their left, and then their right. Um, the area that's highlighted in the middle is information that the doctor then will outline um, areas of the body that need to be, that have radiation delivered to them. So in this case, the yellow outline indicates the patient's bladder. The red outline, which is kind of hidden behind, is the patient's prostate. And the blue outline, which is actually goes behind the red, is the rectum. And all those anatomic regions of the body have uh, the doctor prescribes dose to. If you look at this lower screen, it gives you a little bit of a better view of some of how these um, um, anatomic um, structures are related to each other. So this is a view if, you, if your patient actually turned to the side. And what you're looking at here is their backbone and their tailbone. So this is a side view of the patient. The blue in this case, again, is the rectum. The red is the prostate and the yellow is the bladder. And you can see how close these structures are to each other. So it's really important that this treatment planning software understands the relationship between this in space where these structures are so that the dose being delivered or the plan being created is unique to this individual patient. Um, and you can see once this information gets into the system, the next step is to use the information about the CyberKnife, put it together with the doctor's prescription, take this information and generate a treatment plan. A treatment plan itself consists of 
a whole bunch of beams. And what this is showing you on this particular screen is a treatment plan that's been created. And you can see each of these blue lines indicates an individual radiation beam. And as you look at this beam, at this picture, many of these beams go through the bladder. And I'm going to actually turn this patient a little bit so you can see from the side. Wow. And some of the beams go through the rectum, but every beam goes through the prostate. And that's what we want to do is deliver dose as maximum dose to the prostate and really minimize the amount of dose being delivered to other critical structures. And so this is what a treatment plan is. And then all this information gets packaged up into bits and bits of information that then get communicated to the CyberNice system. And then the robot will move around the patient, will stop at this position and deliver the correct amount of radiation from that spot, move to the next position, again deliver the correct amount of radiation and so forth until the entire treatment plan is delivered however many fractions or days that are prescribed by the doctor. Wow, that is so cool. There are a lot of steps involved. Does it take a long time to build a treatment plan? It doesn't really take us a especially long time because our treatment planning system has a lot of automation built into it. And we're really excited at this show this year to announce a brand new feature called Quick Plan. And what Quick Plan does is it sequences together a lot of the automations that are already in our treatment planning system so that the doctor or the, the, uh, the physicist who is going to generate the treatment plan has to just build the information in at the beginning, push a button, and then at the end, all that uh, the result is the treatment plan. So they don't have to interact with it so much along the way. But of course, if every patient was the same, then one size fits all, and every treatment plan would be the same, and that's not how it is. Every patient is unique and different, and so what we want to do is make sure that what we build is appropriate for each individual patient, so we build the treatment to fit the patient, and that's one of the things that's really important about the CyberNice system. It always fits the patient. How interesting. Thank you so much for taking the time to explain that to us. You're welcome. You know, it's so interesting because <laughs> every time I mention the CyberNice to somebody, so my friends or family... They always say, wow, what a cool technology, but I've never heard of it before. Is it new? Coming up next, we're going to be talking to the head of our clinical publications department who can help give us some color around the answer to that question. Back in a bit with the CyberNice CK Cam. Bye.